Hi everyone, Olivia Reiner here for Packers News, joined by Jim Ozarski, and today we are discussing the safeties of the 2019 Green Bay Packers season. Going to give you guys our thoughts on how they performed with Adrian Amos and Darnell Savage Jr. Those two guys, those were the big additions to the Packers defensive backfield last season. How do you think the two of them did? Obviously, the two starters, they are the future, but are they a viable future? Did they set a good foundation this year? Yeah, I think so. You know, um, healthy for the most part. Savage Jr. missed some, uh, some time with an ankle sprain. Uh, some rookie mistakes, uh, you know, at times for him. But I think the fact that they were able to play essentially the bulk of the year together, they'll be even better. I mean, also remember Savage Jr. missed most of camp with the wisdom tooth, or he missed a lot of time. Um, so I think you know, a full off season together, presumably um, year two for both of them with Mike Patton will be good. You know, we'll see how new secondary coach Jerry Gray, you know, affects things as well. But no, they are. They, I think Adrian Amos was everything they hoped to get. Steady, solid, where he's supposed to be. Where Savage Jr., two interceptions, couple forced fumbles. Ball instincts are great. Um, you figure that will improve as he knows NFL speed and coverage is a little better. So yeah, I think, um, much like outside linebackers, Olivia, I think Brian Gutekunst knocked this one out of the park in terms of what he hoped to get out of the draft and free agency and what he did get. So we know that Mike Pettin likes to use a safety as a hybrid linebacker inside guy alongside what has been Blake Martinez this past season. Do you think that what they have currently in the safety depth chart in Ibrahim Campbell, Will Redmond, are those the types of guys to continue being that hybrid guy, or do you think Mike Pettin, if he wants to continue using that position, using that look for the defense, does he need to go out and find someone new? Yeah, this is fascinating to me, how safety and inside linebacker are going to kind of cross paths a little bit with Brian Gutekunst and Mike Pettin this year. Um, you know, I think that's why Josh Jones was so intriguing still before that experiment ended at, in camp, Olivia, because do, what does Mike Pettin decide to do? Does he, does he stick with what he's done, or because of the way the league has changed, because of the way they lost, their season ended with the run game, does he say, no, that safety needs to be a safety and a coverage type of person, and go to more of a traditional linebacking <laughs> core? So Ibrahim Campbell's back, Will Redmond's going to be back. They like what they can do, but you're right. I, I'm, honestly, I'm fascinated to see where this goes for them. Um, is that our four safeties enough? Or you know, do they feel they need another one? Um, it, it is a great question that we'll just have to find out. All right, we'll see if they end up making safety a priority this offseason. Guys, make sure you're checking out all of our other report cards over on PackersNews.com. Follow us on all of our social media channels this offseason. We'll have lots of updates for you guys over there. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.